did you ever forget to take your long acting insulin uh, either at home in the evening you just skip it or you left out of the city and you realized you, did, you didn't take it with you stay close and I will explain what I did to counter this issue I am not a doctor uh, I'm not a diabetic specialist I'm just simply uh, explaining my experiences what works for me what I do to handle my diabetes but you have to uh, be careful because uh, we are all different and we, whatever works for me might not work for you so uh, before doing anything if you are not comfortable in adjusting uh, your insulin dosages uh, you are not uh, used treat your diabetes by your own uh, please seek medical advice before doing any changes if you have any questions, please talk to your doctors before making any adjustments in your treatment. Actually, if you are not used to handle your insulin dosages, I strongly suggest you to learn. Seek help until you are fully confident to at any time adjust dosages. But as any diabetic type 1, I think we should know that to have an easy and a flexible lifestyle. So I spent the night, I was busy with my usual stuff. Uh, I changed my schedule since the pandemic. I go to bed a little bit much later than usual, not just a little bit. So I skipped. I realized only uh, very late in the night to, when I went to bed, about half past two or something. I forgot. Uh, I I realized I forgot to take this little thing. Usually, I take it. Uh, in, I split it in two. I take. Uh, 12 units or 14 or 16 units depends how my daily regimen how, depends actually how much sport I do it's all about how much sport I do this is when I change it but right now I do sports most of the days so I do usually 12 units in the evening and I do another six units in the afternoon half past three to cover or four half past three or half past four now because I go to bed later I take it half past four uh, to cover the, the evening so because I forgot to take it uh, in the middle of the night uh, around 3 I started to get a spike I will attach some of the graphs from my Dexcom to show it wasn't anything uh, uh, tremendously high I, I hope it helps uh, my sport as well um, it, but it was around high 7 high 7.8 so I just started to take fast-acting insulin. Some people would take that as soon as they remember, but I prefer not to because it was way too late and uh, by the time it uh, kicks in, it takes at least four hours, I guess. So it was three when I realized. Uh, so I, I just started to take fast-acting insulin instead. This is how I, I, it happened before. Uh, so I, I did it before and I know how to do it. Uh, so I took, uh, when I saw it first around 2 or 3 in the morning, I saw it and I took another uh, a shot of 3 units of insulin, fast acting insulin, over rapid, this one, yeah. Uh, I used this one, I took, I have took 3 units and then uh, it wasn't too comfortable but I woke up again in the morning uh, around uh, six or seven alarm went off from my Dexcom and the alarm me I'm going a little bit high again it was 7.5 or something like that and I took another three units of fast acting insulin which uh, helped me to bring down the blood sugars again uh, so when I wake up in the morning uh, it was around uh, so I woke up around 10 ish, I think. Uh, again, I'm, uh, my schedule is a little bit upside down because of this pandemic. Uh, it was around height six or seven again. So I need to, I, I had to take an extra shot again before my breakfast, another three units just to counter that. And then uh, I took my usual uh, shot for my breakfast. This is how I, I do it. And uh, once I had my my breakfast with my new fast-acting insulin uh, usually in the late morning 
around the, after my breakfast, my, I, I'm more sensitive and I drop more. So my, my main problem when I forget to take the long acting insulin, it's in the night and in the morning, early morning. Once I pass that point, I'm up, I'm, I'm doing okay. So this is how I did it. Uh, it wasn't anything too difficult. Uh, I suggest if you have this problem sometimes and you need to improvise a little bit, you can do it the same. Just take uh, small shots of fast acting insulin and uh, you'll drop it down. And again, a few hours later, top up again a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit more, uh, it takes a little bit of more uh, checkup and more uh, little shots across the night or the day, but it's just at least you keep your blood sugars uh, in the normal ranges. I thought this video could be useful in case you are out of the town and you forgot to take your uh, insulin with you, or if you are out somewhere in holiday and uh, the insulin went off uh, because of the heat. Uh, this is how it happened for me a few times. So just use this little trick, uh, continuously check and add little shots of fast-acting insulin and you'll manage to keep your blood sugars into normal ranges. I hope you found this uh, video useful. Uh, if you want me to talk about other topics, please leave some comments below. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Uh, thank you for watching again and see you next time.